Who is David Lieberhart? David Nkrumah Lieber Unger Hart, or David Lieberhart as he's better known, is an American musician, actor and puppeteer. Fans of Adult Swim will know him for his reoccurring role in the 2000s comedy sketch series, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. Earlier this year, I managed to get in contact with David's manager to organise an interview. After some back and forth, we managed to secure some time with David over Skype. What unfolded was one of the most intense, funny, and ultimately fascinating interviews I've ever done. Firstly, if you're expecting David to be anything like his on-screen character, you're absolutely right. So where to start? David clearly has three passions, music, trains, and what he calls Christian science. Whatever we spoke about eventually ended up coming back to one of these three subjects. So to start with, this is what David had to say about his time working with Tim and Eric. Well, it's like meeting a beautiful girl. It's like my grandmother Schroeder says, there has to be a chemistry between you. you uh, she's got to like you as much as you like her. And it's the same way getting a job, you know, the manager or the boss uh, that's doing the interview has to want to uh, want you as much as you want him and or them for employment, and it's and, and it just has to be a chemistry. And uh, I, uh, Tim and Eric, uh, 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 were very creative people, and our and our and our, and our, our, our my hands matched with their gloves. I was what they were looking for, and it was love's work, and love must fit. As Alice Dayton says in the uh, poem "Eternal Mind," I put to my own music. It was a uh, it was a perfect fitting, and I've been working on and off with them for twelve years. In fact, there's a new show I produced with them, and I'm in as an actor. And the first time I got high, um, Tim and Eric would have me write comedy lines off and on with them, but they hired me for the first time as a produ uh, as a co-producer to do a show called I Love David, um, and it's an Adult Swim show, and it's going to show my show, it's going to show Tennessee Luke's show, um, and it's going to show uh, uh, reruns of all the uh, Adult Swim shows that Tim, uh, absolutely production Tim and Eric have ever produced, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And when I first uh, was interviewed, uh, there was th three other African Americans that were being interviewed by Tim and Eric. And Tim and Eric asked me if I could write a song about aliens, and I wrote the song Salome, and it became a hit on the show. And they have it something when you go for an interview, they call it cold reading. And I was able to um, to uh, uh, code read and, and do what they wanted to in writing a comedy song about aliens, and they loved it. it that song about my rebellious uh, behavior against my dad. And then puberty, I wrote a song about growing up with puberty. Uh, that's that's all, all, all me about, you know, growing up and how I I started uh, become ripening into a, uh, into a, from a pear into an apple to really get into women and, and liking uh, manly things instead of boyish things. They, uh, they're very creative people. They, they're like, being a roommate with Robin Williams, I mean, he 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 he, he would make up a comedy joke and 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 to keep you laughing for hours. Tim and Eric would make up a comedy joke and and do something funny or out of the uh, that, that that was that that was so comical and landish that you, it, it just stayed with you like uh, like uh, it, it, like your favorite song that you can't get out of your head. They're they're just they're just uh, natural hams and natural comedians. They're natural, uh, gifted comedians, uh, natural good writers. So I love the Snow Show I did with Tim and Eric. I love the Salome song I did. I love the Stay in School and Stay Focused. I did. Um, uh, uh, wow! I I love touring with them for the for five years. Doing stand-up comedy and my own music, and I, uh, I, uh, uh, I just, uh, I, I love the, I wanted, I, I love the, the moments that I got to work with them, and I love the moments when I got to work with John C. Riley as well. So when you when you did the Tim and Eric show, obviously this introduced you to a new audience that, from my understanding, you, you never really had access to before. What was it like being propelled into that audience and now having this sort of. Uh, fame amongst the internet community or 
the you know a new well, generation of fan. Created something that I've worked for. I um, I'm in my sixties. I don't look my age because I don't smoke or drink or do drugs. But I have a sweet tooth for beautiful women, like any guys do. I um, I just uh, uh, I just um, had a dream that I just wanted to be an actor and and. And uh, I'm glad that my dream is finally coming true to be an actor and a songwriter and a musician and a singer. The, and, I, and I'm also love it, doing puppeteering as well. Yeah, and you got to do some of that on the Tim and Eric show, right? You got to use some of your puppets and do some puppeteering. Yeah. Well, started me with the puppeteering. Um, um, at the various uh, Christian Science Sunday schools I went to, uh, there were famous uh, Sunday school teachers that were puppeteers uh, there. And the famous one was Jim Henson. Uh, when I went to family reunions in uh, Washington, D.C., I was lucky to have uh, Jim Henson as a Sunday school teacher. And he would teach with Kermit the Frog, and he had his own show. Um, he did the Jimmy Dean show, and then he did. Uh, he worked on, uh, before he did Sesame Street and The Muppet Show, he had his uh, 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 show, uh, Sam and Friends, that was a local puppet show. He also was a Christian scientist. I met his daughter, Heather um, Henson, for the first time. And she, uh, her mother was Catholic, and her dad was Christian scientist. And her mother didn't expose her to Christian science and wouldn't let her go to the Christian science church with her dad, uh, Jim Henson. And... Uh, and uh, so I got to meet with her and talk with her, and she got to see my puppeteering that I did. They, um, I, ha I haven't been paid for it yet, but um, um, the uh, college in, uh, in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, wanted to uh, acknowledge uh, famous black puppeteers in Springfield, um, uh, 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 New Haven, Connecticut, at the college. And so I went there and did a show in January, but I uh, and I got to meet uh, two other famous African American puppeteers, and it was a lot of fun. And it was a puppet museum there. Uh, and I'm waiting for Mr. Martinez to finally pay me. All in all, David was really interesting, and you can listen to the full 30 minute interview via the link in the description. Although he came across as slightly embittered, David is driven by his love of entertaining others. You can see why he was such a success with his work with Tim and Eric. David is a true eccentric in every sense of the word. He kind of reminds me of Daniel Johnston. Those who get him, really get him. And those who don't, he doesn't really give a shit. <laughs>